Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Smooth Operators Call Center Chaos. This is a weird game to describe. It's a simulation tycoon type game, you could almost say. Uh, basically, you are the builder, owner, slash manager of a call center, and your goal is to build a larger and larger call center, hire more and more employees, eventually give yourself, uh, you know, become the greatest call center owner in Earth, basically, or on Earth. And notice, I don't know if these guys have any connections to the developer of Gateways, but there's definitely the old man from Gateways kind of hanging out in the background here. In any case, uh, I got this on Desura for like six bucks, and I've been playing a little bit of it. I'm a sucker for these kind of like tycoon games. Uh, so even though this one bears, shall I say, more than a passing resemblance to the game Tiny Tower, uh, it's still a decent amount of fun in its own right, in my opinion. And there's nothing else to look at in the gaming landscape of 2013 so far. Thanks a lot, Mayan Apocalypse, that took out absolutely nothing except developers and designers. In any case, I do have a call center here that's a little bit deeper uh, into the game, maybe an hour or so, but I'm just going to start a new one to explain what the F is going on. We're going to play uh, normal difficulty here, and we probably have a tutorial as well. We're going to call our call center uh, Fox City, because why not? We're not going to use this too often. I don't need the tutorial, Jill. I've already done this before. So first things first, we have our first contract. So you struck a deal with a new client. These base workloads are in now. Start building. So IB, I'm just going to explain the basic mechanics of the game first. IB stands for inbound. OB stands, stands for outbound. Uh, so this is the workload that we're going to have every day. So we want to have like five-sevenths of our employees be uh, inbound uh, and two-sevenths be outbound to handle this workload uh, ratio accordingly. We can also see that represented visually up here on the top right. We're going to start with $20,000 and I'm actually just going to crank the speed here uh, down to zero. Or as close to zero as we can get anyway. Uh, so that we can talk about what's going on here. So I'm going to use WASD to move around. So this is Fuck City. Uh, we have a reception area which is going to be basically where our receptionist is going to be and the receptionist at Fuck City never sleeps 24-7 manning the computers and phones at Fuck City she should get paid something but unfortunately she works pro bono I don't know maybe she's my wife or something not that I wouldn't pay my wife if she actually worked for me I'm just saying it's some kind of weird arrangement I've never seen before what we want to do is go to the shop menu and we slowly want to build uh, a call center basically around this Fuck City first building here so we're going to start by building some operations areas and these operations areas uh, are going to allow us yes you can work on this contract uh, are going to allow us to hire some staff so we start with 25 or sorry twenty thousand dollars that's a substantial amount of money uh, what we probably want to do now that I think about it is set up uh, maybe an elevator on this side we can't why can't we set up an elevator on this side maybe because we only have one floor uh, let's put another operations area like right here and yes, you can work on that same thing. And then we'll put in a bathroom area, which would be our uh, sanitation. So let's do that. And now maybe we can put an elevator in on the right side, because we do need a way for them to get between the floors. There we go. All right, so we've got an elevator. we still got 7,500 remaining. We don't necessarily have to buy anything else, but let's just see what we could do. we still got to hire staff. That's probably a good idea. So what did I say? Five sevens? So we want to have this guy dude here. Uh, this is inbound agent, obviously. The price is 300 on each of these. So why don't we just hire five of these guys just to make our ratio as best as it could possibly be and we'll leave one workspace open. So all inbound in here uh, and then two outbound here. We have no BO agents which is good uh, because I don't want them stinking up the place if you know what I mean. There we go. So we've hired seven dudes uh, who will man our systems here. And we can also leave this space open. We'll hire a janitor eventually which is going to be important. Now with 5,000 remaining uh, what we should probably do, we should either get some uh, food areas like this, that's 2,500, because otherwise people will just leave. Or some recreation. You know what? Uh, I think we'll set up a food area up here so for lunch people can uh, eat. And additionally, we're going to set up a service desk up here. So this is where our janitors will go. And we can also put, uh, you know, IT guys up here. So we're going to have basically no money, uh, but it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's time to start our day. Once we start our day by speeding things up here, these guys are going to start making some calls, and we should see some cash roll in. These first few days might be a little bit boring. Uh, but we'll see how good they are at doing their job. Immediately, they all leave. Excuse me. You have achieved an objective. Installed sanitary facilities. No problem. Installed food facilities. We might have accomplished many objectives here. Yes, build five buildings, $500. So we got a lot of money back. Uh, and we're just going to crank up the speed pretty high here. I'm not sure why everybody's leaving, considering they just got here. I'm guessing our first day is not going to be all that productive. Uh, but pretty soon, this thing's going to be running at full capacity here. I'm not sure if this is a very efficient layout for our building, but uh, as we grow bigger and bigger, this elevator is definitely going to get taxed. 
So if I just pause for a second, you see you can see some caches rolling in. I won't pause, I'll actually just slow it down. And you can see like these guys have almost like roller coaster ty tycoon type uh, emoticons that appear, or Sims type ty uh, icons that appear. Uh, and these allow you to kind of clue into the mood of your staff. So we can take a look at this guy, he just frowned a second ago. Um, we can look at him and we can see things like how long he's been employed, his name, how much he's made, uh, his total revenue for us, and his thoughts. Short and good call, very talkative, sorry I can't help, wow sure is clean after work. Or wow sure is clean after work, etc, etc. We can see his schedule, um, we can see his salary, we can move him to another workstation, we can fire him if he wants to, but for now, uh, we're so early in our lifespan as a company. That would probably be counterproductive, and basically, basically uh, we're going to manage our employees. As time goes on, we will unlock more and more employees and allow us to build a larger and larger call center, but we're going to keep up with Fuck City for a while here. Uh, eventually, we will switch to the Lion's Den, which is my other call center that's been going for a little while. So take 100 inbound calls in a day, you've been awarded $500. Making decent money here on the first day, even though we are going to have like a minus $17,000 uh, you know, balance sheet by the end of the day. But that's okay. One complaint I do have about the game is that the fast forward doesn't fast forward fast enough, especially once we get janitors. I spend a lot of time when I'm playing the game just like setting up conditions and then as the game plays just looking at my phone basically. Uh, but as you can see, we can take a look at how our uh, workloads are doing today. Inbound calls is working much faster than outbound calls, which means either we're not getting a lot of inbound outbound calls, I should say, or uh, I need to hire more outbound agents, which is probably a smart decision. So you know what, even though it's the end of the workday, uh, I'll be nice and hire another outbound agent to handle that workload. And that will fill up uh, the eight spots we have in our operations area here. So we have service staff that can occupy this unused space right now. Again, maybe not the most efficient use of my money so far, but uh, I'm pleased with this first day. This definitely went much better than I've done before. And again, I have to point out, this game is, is very much, it feels like a casual experience, but it's also fun in its own right. Like, for whatever reason, I find myself getting engaged in games like this. I was always the, the weird kid who was into, like, Railroad Tycoon and stuff as a kid. I mean, Roller Coaster Tycoon is glamorous, but we all know it's about Zoo Tycoon and Railroad Tycoon. I was the guy who was urban planning in SimCity on the Super Nintendo. I know there's PC versions too, obviously, but I was a big fan of the Super Nintendo version myself. Surprisingly good port. In any case, I'm just kind of rambling here. We will get our uh, balance sheet, or kind of our, like our daily summary, at midnight here. So we can see uh, operational staff, we hired a bunch, so that cost us a lot of money. Uh, building offices cost us a ton, so we ended up losing, what did I say? Basically like $17,000 today. Uh, but we also made a decent amount of money. I mean, not overall, but our revenue for the first day is not bad. We made like a thousand in revenue. Uh, and depending on how well you do, like your efficiency, you will either get a bonus or a penalty. So I think we got a penalty because we did like way less than 50% of our uh, outbound calls and less than 50% of our inbound calls. But hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to do a little bit better. And usually at the end of the first day, yes we will save, uh, usually at the end of the first day, when nobody's working, it just fast forwards. Unfortunately, once the janitors start working, then we're not going to be able to fast forward through the nights, which is annoying. Okay, so now we can hire janitors. We are going to hire uh, three of them, I think. Uh, maybe just two for now. Uh, so let's go to our service staff. One janitor is not enough to clean this building, even though it is quite small. Uh, these guys are going to work nights, so they're not going to be here right now. But now we've got two spaces left for IT. And we're basically just going to go through this whole day again, although actually I think what I might do, let's just slow it down a little bit. The faster you can uh, grow your business, obviously, the, the faster you want to do it. So what we're going to do here uh, is just build another operations building so we can hire another four units. And pretty soon, these guys are going to work on this contract, but we can eventually, once you get more contracts, diversify. We could have some people working on some contract and some people working on the other one. Uh, or other ones, I should say, because you can get uh, many more. Now we have, these are going to cost... 300 each, so we're basically gonna blow our whole uh, stack here. Just hiring a couple of these guys, and we will uh, again proceed with the game. Now there is, you can micromanage this game a little bit more if that's your thing. Like if, if I go on this unit here, let's check out how uh, Zachariah is doing. What I could do is actually like change his schedule as you can see, uh, or stagger their schedules once we get human resources guys. Uh, so we could have like some people work the 8 hour shift in the early morning, some people work the 8 hour shift in the afternoon, and then other people uh, Oh, we do need uh, back office agents now, so let's hire one of those. Um, it, it's in your best interest to do this so that you don't have like the elevator taking forever, you don't have the bathroom and the cafeteria constantly being full, because they can only handle uh, four people each until they get upgraded. So we'll probably do another day or two uh, of this so you can see how the janitors work and stuff and the general progress. Uh, generally, I find that it's better to build out when you first get started than build uh, up because the elevator's a pain in the ass, but if we just keep going up and up here, 
Uh, you can see, you know, you can build your, your call center very, very high if you want it to be like a, like a New Delhi powerhouse or something like that. Um, but let's get in here. This is the kind of game that, I, I've seen a lot of weird stuff on Steam. Probably the weirdest game I've seen on Steam was like New Soccer Star 5. Like when that came out last summer, I was like, really Steam? This feels like more like an iPhone game. And I mean, this feels more like an iPhone game as well. Uh, but it's the kind of thing that Desura is really good at highlighting, like these kind of weird games that would otherwise almost like 0% get greenlit. Uh, and you know, maybe this one doesn't necessarily deserve to be greenlit, but it's reasonably fun in its own right. So our day is coming up basically to the end here again. I feel like I did fairly well with respect to back office agents, uh, IB and OB. So we've been awarded $500 here. It almost, if I was to describe this game, it's like a casual version of Prison Architect, uh, meets like time management. I have no problem with time management games uh, when they're done reasonably well. Plus the music, what can I say? It's just a little catchy. It gets me every time. If you listen closely, you probably won't be able to because I'm going to be, you know, talking over it the entire time. But occasionally, I think that this song is basically just like Mad World by, uh, you know, the minor version by Gary Jules. You hear it? You gotta hear it by now. <laughs> Alright, so our janitors are coming back. Where's janitor number two is the real question. Ah, oh, there he is, okay. Sweet haircut, bro. Uh, elevators are expensive, otherwise I would install a second one. But yeah, these guys are just gonna clean. This is the problem with the game, I think, once you get janitors. I like being able to fast forward through their work, but as far as I can tell, you can't actually do that once you get them. So we lost uh, $1,840 today. Why is that? Well, we hired, well, we built a new office and we hired a bunch of new staff. Uh, so we're actually just gonna close for now, and we'll save. We'll probably hire one new staff member tomorrow, uh, but then we'll just see how much profit we can make uh, in our business, you know, without actually building. Because, you know, I mean, you do want to keep building, but I also want to just make some profit. That's the whole reason I got into this crazy business in the first place. Uh, because we don't have too many employees, things are reasonably clean. I'm not sure how long it's going to take our janitors, but uh, they are hired for eight hours, so if they finish their work, unfortunately, they just sit down at the computer and dick around. I mean, as someone who's worked office jobs in the past, I actually worked in a call center in the past, I, I can appreciate that. Uh, that was a shitty job. Big ups to anybody out there watching this who worked in a call center. That can sometimes be soul-sucking. Sometimes rewarding, sometimes soul-sucking, especially if you end up doing, like, outbound telemarketing, uh, which is what I did for my university for a little while. You know, first year of university, I was like, I need to make a little money so I can buy groceries. Beer. Uh, so I ended up uh, soliciting donations for the university from alumni. A lot of times people are really nice, hey, I had a good time at the university, here's 40 bucks. A lot of times people were like, I haven't done anything with my degree, I already paid you guys $30,000, don't talk to me. I'm like, oh, I'm just a kid, man. That's what I sounded like when I was 18, by the way. Uh, so now I can hire IT techs. That's a very good idea. I like this song, too. There's only two songs in the whole game, but what can I say, they tickle my fancy. Sometimes, I don't know why I like the games that I do. I just do. Actually, we're gonna hire two IT staff. Um, and you know what? Why not hire another uh, outbound agent as well? Because they are getting the worst uh, efficiency so far. So this will be our last day. We'll just see how much money we can make. This is just to give you a general idea of the progress you make when you first get started in... Um, what is this game even called? Smooth Operator Call Center Chaos. Also, Smooth Operators. Just a great name. Uh, but in any case, once this day is done, we will load into our more hectic call center. You wouldn't think the lion's den would be more hectic than a call center called Fuck City, but uh, indeed that is the case. And you can see, you know, the stress is being put on these guys. Let's check out their thoughts. How's this guy doing? He's got a great mood. Uh, what is there? Uh, no thoughts at all. Alright, well I'd be happy too if I was completely brain dead. Uh, how about this guy? What are his thoughts? I want to go home. Lunchtime. Yep, I'm lying. We could fire this guy. Actually, there's an in-game achievement for that, or in-game objective for that at the very least. But as you can see, we're making Jim Cramer mad money here. Uh, at the end of this day, I think our call center is going to be very fiscally uh, sustainable. So I will be able to save this and return to it later, perhaps. This is a game, I don't think it exists on mobile, but I would definitely, uh, you know, this is the kind of thing I would play on a bus. It's a little bit harder to get me to sit down and play this on the PC, even though I have already invested like an hour and a half into this so far. Uh, we'll just wait until our day is over here, because I want to see our daily report. It seems like we did a lot better today. Obviously that 20,000 that you start with, again, it's like Prison Architect, when you start with that 20,000, uh, that's when it feels good. You can build all your facilities. After that, you just get incremental progress every single day. Uh, but one of these days, Fuck City is gonna be the biggest call center. It's gonna be the new Nortel. Maybe that's a bad example. It's gonna be the new Lehman Brothers? Probably also an equally bad example. So in an hour and a half, 
we are going to finish our day out here. Janitors are coming in for work. Always appreciate that. Hardworking dudes. We will need to hire a third one eventually, probably. I still have all this, like, empty space over here. I'll probably put some more operations areas in there, because we're going to need to hire managers and coaches soon. So this is our first day. Uh, in terms of our profit today, we made a Boeing, which is awesome. Uh, and for outbound calls, we had good efficiency. Pretty bad efficiency for back office and uh, inbound, so that's what we would focus on in the future. So we're going to close this, save, uh, and then why don't we uh, go to the game menu here and perhaps load into another game. We'll uh, save and quit. This will take us back to the main menu, and can we load into... The Lion's Den, indeed we can. So this is on day 11. Again, this represents like an hour of play so far, and like my first prison architect save, uh, I didn't necessarily build it in the most efficient way possible. Uh, so let's just go here and see uh, how our janitors are doing. By the way, you might notice, this computer's on fire. Uh, things get a lot, shall we say, zanier uh, the more and more you play. Uh, once you hire IT guys, usually for a few days you're okay, but then on like day six, computers just start exploding. Like on one floor you can just have like four computers explode all at once, which is not very nice. But anyway, we have three janitors here. Do we have any open workstations? I don't know. And we don't have a ton of money. Again, this is very poorly organized, and I feel bad about that. But we do have two contracts now. If I just pause the game, I can load up my game menu, and we can look at that. So there are all these, like, charts as well, or interfaces that I haven't described yet. So we can look at my reports. This is our daily report. Uh, and we can split up daily record by client. Um, but let me check uh, the game menu again. We've got two clients. We've got Soderquist Horses and uh, Tele30 Mobile, which, you know, Soderquist Horses, they like us. They've been working with us since the beginning. So they give us, like, what, close to a thousand calls a day. Over a thousand calls a day. Uh, Tele30 Mobile only gives us, like, 250. I'm terrible at math. That's, like, 350. Uh, but, you know, as you get further into the game, you'll unlock people like, um, if I go to our shop menu here, like managers and coaches and, uh, you know, account managers and project managers. Uh, these will allow you to, like, get new contracts, basically close business deals that allow you to make more money, which allow you to grow your business even more. Uh, so let's shop here. We're going to buy another operations building. We're just going to slot it in there. Uh, these guys are going to work exclusively on Tele30 Mobile, and we'll hire a couple, uh inbound agents perhaps to speed up our progress with that because our business is a little bit too small for the demand that we have right now all right so let's crank things up here basically it's again I, I hate to draw the prison architect comparison so much when this probably does resemble tiny tower substantially more I'm not sure if it's a ripoff I've never played tiny tower I've only seen gameplay so forgive me if this is just like a blatant ripoff of any other game I don't have a ton of experience in the genre at least in recent memory uh, but yeah, like Prison Architect, the account manager or project manager uh, is kind of like the warden where over time he basically like goes through the tech tree and opens up new stuff for you. So we've got handyman, uh, tip of the day, managers can speed up your staff substantially but be careful you don't push your agents too far. I don't control the managers, the managers just yell at people, which I kind of appreciate as it improves productivity. We're probably at the point where I would want to install, oh come on, it's not Gary again is it? Let's check out our HR report. My rhino telexomania is acting crazy today. It's Darwin. All right, we've had a lot of people quit as well because this is not the great, greatest um, workplace. I, here's the reasons for quitting. I had to wake up too early. Deal with it. I'm leaving because I'm not allowed to sleep in my office. Are you fucking kidding me? You're an outbound agent. I need you to do outbound things. Janitor, I need to practice on the trombone. Sounds like he's gonna go work in a sex club. I'm joining the circus. Are you kidding me? These OB agents, man. More like OG agents, because they're original gangsters. Who just, they cannot be tamed by the corporate world, apparently. Oh, yeah, there you go. So we've got computers exploding left, right, and center. Oh, my God. Who is sick this time? Are you fucking kidding me? Parrot fever, need to stay home today. I need to hire a fucking truancy officer to go to these homes. And where's our, there we go. we got Steve Jobs. You can, uh, it's, it's sort of hard to tell sometimes who's who. As your business gets more and more bustling, this is our coach, obviously, because she's like, rah, rah, what's she thinking? God, one more day of this job. No, she just hates the elevator. Um, and then we got, like, our Steve Jobs types, who I'm going to try to find here. I think they've gone out for lunch. Steve Jobs, they're the black-shirted guys. Uh, when they, there are IT agents, and our elevator is super slow, which is really killing our productivity. Uh, but you can see when they fix computers, they basically just bash into them. What's this guy's thoughts? Yeah, he hates the fucking elevator. If I could install stairs, I would, guys, but sadly, uh, that's not an option in our shop menu. The flow tube is, as is the teleporter, but we don't have that unlocked yet. And the fucking elevator's 5,000. Computers exploding left, right, and center! The lion's den is kind of getting out of control. I mismanaged this one from the start. 
It's the kind of game where it's good to have a kind of a plan for architecture as you move onwards. Uh, if I could do it again, I would just build out as far as possible. Uh, rather than building up, because apparently you don't pay real estate costs in this game, which is the reason, obviously, people don't do that when they actually create a business. But in any case, I think that you've got an idea for how the game progresses. It doesn't change a drastic degree. We can save and quit here. Uh, this has been Let's Look at Smooth Operators Call Center Chaos. Definitely a niche game. I kind of like it. I kind of don't hate it, at least, which is uh, more than I expected. But keep in mind that I have a, a certain affinity for these games for whatever reason. Uh, so if you want to check this out, I will put a link in the video description. I'm not sure if they have a green light campaign, but this is available on Desura uh, during its opening week sale. It's only six bucks. Seems like a fair price to me. Certainly not everybody's kind of game, but if you're into this sort of thing and you don't mind a more casual uh, experience that sometimes includes the professor from Gateways, uh, then this might be the sort of thing that's up your alley. I like it a little bit anyway. Uh, but in any case, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.